Hope you're having a lovely day and you're searching for another recipe. This is the majestic cupcakery. So it's finally here, the video you've all been waiting for. I'm going to share with you how I make the perfect Swiss meringue buttercream. It's super soft and silky and a really nice all round meringue buttercream. It pipes like an absolute dream and it's not too difficult to make. I'd even go as far as saying it's my favourite meringue buttercream to make. So to make it you want to start off with two bowls. And here I've got three medium sized eggs that you're just going to want to separate so you have the whites and the yolks in two separate bowls. You're not going to need the yolks for this recipe so instead of throwing them away you could always make something out of them like a creme brulee or some kind of custard dessert. To the egg whites I'm adding 200 grams of caster sugar. You can use granulated sugar but I find the finished result to be not as smooth. Go ahead and whisk that on up until it's all combined. I've now got a pan on the heat with a little bit of water in. You don't want it too hot, just enough to gently heat the egg whites. Too hot and the eggs will turn into scrambled egg and we don't want that. Make sure when you're doing this that the bowl doesn't touch the water and just gently place that over the pan. You will see at this point when you're giving it a little stir around that the mixture is quite grainy. So what the heat does is slowly melt the sugar crystals which will prevent the buttercream from having like a rough texture. While it's also heating the eggs to a safe temperature so they are safe to eat. As you can see the mixture at the minute is about 16 degrees celsius ish. You want to get that all the way up to between 70 and 72 degrees celsius. If you don't have a thermometer then you'll know it's ready if when you rub the mixture between your fingers it's no longer grainy and it will also be warm to the touch. If not don't worry, pop it back on the heat and keep on going until you reach that. My mixture is about 71 degrees so now I know it's ready to be taken off the heat. You will also notice that the mixture becomes a lot looser so you're also looking for that too. I'm now going to pop that in the mixer with the whisk attachment. Using a stand mixer is very useful for this just because of how long it needs to be whipped for. Pop it on a medium speed and slowly increase it to high. You're wanting to whip this up like a meringue so just keep on doing that until you reach those lovely peaks and it's really light and fluffy. This is about halfway through, you can see it's very white now but not holding its peaks. Don't be tempted to leave it like this, keep on whipping it until it has lovely thick peaks. Or oh, your buttercream will be soupy and yes it tastes delicious but it won't be very practical. It's taken me about 10 to 12 minutes to whip it up to peak consistency and as you can see it holds its shape and has a lot of volume. By itself this would be amazing for the top of a lemon meringue pie or as a marshmallow fluff but we're going to take it one step further and make it into a buttercream. At this point you want to make sure the meringue isn't still hot so give it a touch and if it's warm just leave it on the side to cool down. You want to now slowly add in 175 grams of butter in little pieces one at a time. This is why your meringue needs to cool or it will melt the butter. There is a few things that could go wrong here, it could end up soupy or curdled but don't worry if it does, Swiss meringue buttercream is very forgiving and easily fixed which is why I love it. It's all to do with the temperature control, so the two rules you need to know is if it's soupy and won't thicken, the mixture's too warm and needs cooling in the fridge until it's set up. And the other is if it's curdled, the butter was too cold and the mixture needs heating up slightly just to bring the butter back into it. Whip it back up and it'll be as good as new. Once it's ready you will see how amazingly silky it is, it's honestly the best thing. 
You could add a flavour of your choice here or add some gel colour in if you want to change the colour. I'm adding melted chocolate to make it a chocolate buttercream. It doesn't split and it holds its shape really well. It's a really versatile buttercream. I made a Marvel Effect cake with it and it works super well so click on the link in the corner to go ahead and see that. I hope you all enjoyed this video and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos as and when they're uploaded and have fun caking. Bye!